Good morning, good morning, good morning from the XTC of 2021. You are currently on YouTube, you are currently on the Tauntaun Squadron channel, and my name is Seth Holocron. It is Ireland in Group C versus Croatia in Group C. Currently the score is 3-2. Uh, uh, Croatia burst out uh, to have a commanding lead uh, in the uh, first two games. They were uh, light years ahead of all of us. Let me get rid of all of that rubbish there because we don't need any of that at all. It's going to look better for you guys. And uh, Ireland won three in a trot. So it's kind of 3-2. Uh, if Ireland win this, uh, we are... Well, Team Ireland are 3-0 in the group and looking kind of good. Uh, Matia for uh, Croatia will be desperately trying to win this game a great, great deal as that will level the series and we'll go to the decider, which will be tomorrow night, uh, which is uh, Gary Colton uh, and his uh, Zamgo list up against Darth Vader, Sunterfell and Fifth Brother. That is live on this channel tomorrow night uh we will put a link in the description so i hope you are doing very well uh both players have uh, already decided who is doing what and as uh matthias list is uh slightly cheaper uh than um than uh cormax uh good morning pe with mr c um obviously coercion and um these two lists are great so uh Matia gave the initiative and first player to Cormac Higgins. Uh, so while they are busy setting up their McRocks, I will go through the lists when they start going. So as I said, if, if Ireland win this, uh, they will be 4-2 and it's a tick in the win column. And uh, Matia is setting up all his... Uh, main weapons down at the bottom left hand corner in fact the entire list is going down in the bottom left hand corner and it is beef resistance jousty mcjoust face um all good three t70s and two transport pods against cormac higgins with a y-wing an arc uh, a delta and an eta so this is going to be a tight game. Uh, Matty is a fantastic player, as is Cormac Higgins. Both have won many things in the past before in real life. So I am expecting an absolute scorcher of a game here between these two players. So we can only hope that things go as well as they can do. So uh, dials are now being set. I'm getting ready to uh, put the timer on when everybody is uh, all done. Before us going on to Obi-Wan Kenobi, who is at the top of the screen, uh, then we have uh, Wolf underneath him, Goji in the Y-Wing, and my favourite female in Star Wars canon, Ashoka Tano at the bottom. And... Uh, and we've got a couple of T70s, the pods, all that sort of stuff. So it's going to look pretty good. I'm just going to uh, have a little look that uh, Bastion and Red is in green. So I will do this in the overlay. Let me get the overlay up. Bastion in green. Let me sort all of this out. should really have sorted all this out beforehand, to be totally honest. Finn is in blue, Rose is in pink. I like that a great deal. So Rose is in pink. That's more purple. That's more pink. We'll do that. Finn in blue. We'll do that. Uh, Bastion in yellow. So that's completely wrong. That'll be that color. The red squadron pilot, for some strange reason, is the green one. It all depends on what color you uh, order. You put it into Yasby. So uh, that will mean that Jess Pava is in red. So there we go. That should be it now. Um, clock not yet set. Dials are set. Have a little look. 
So Matya is all set. Cormac is all set. We are probably ready to rock and roll. Uh, I'd like to apologize to the captain of Croatia. I have all these beautiful maps for the seven games that Team Ireland will be playing in the XTC. And uh, the person who made the Croatian flag for me, uh, we had the wrong shield on it. And uh, so huge apologies. It is now fixed, as you can see on the left hand side. So that is all good. And um, it shouldn't be too long before this game is off and running. So uh, hello, Gotham. Hello, Connor. Hello, Tomislav. Uh, Tomislav, part of uh, the Croatian XTC team. So hopefully this all goes nice and swimmingly. Clock is off. So I'm going to be slightly seconds behind, but uh, our clock is now on too. So uh, here we go, the initial uh, movement phase. And um, go to you through uh, one straight. Uh, checked for a target lock, got nothing. Bastion flew straight three. And um, checked for a target lock, gets nothing. Um, just goes on to the rock. Uh, same maneuver there from Finn. He is also uh, this poor tar uh, this poor rock. Um, that's kind of poor. Don't need to stress yourself out. Uh, Ashoka Tano turns right. Uh, spends a force. Barrel rolls to the right hand side. And will he spend a chopper charge? He does indeed. So let us go through the lists while we are here. So on the left hand side, we have Matya Mandurov, uh, who is running his version of uh, Joystein McJoyce face or resistance beef or whatever you want to call it. This personally, I list I absolutely adore. I flew this myself in the Hexile Gaming's uh, Elimination League and went 5 1 with it out of the six rounds. It's fantastic. If you can get all five guns on one ship, that ship will explode. There is no need to do anything else. And then pretty much rinse and repeat. So uh, if we go from top to bottom, it is Jessica Pava in the T-70 with her free jamming beam and the foils. Then we've got the Red Squadron expert who has got exactly the same setup, but also has heroic. So if you roll blanks, you can re-roll them all. That can be huge. And the fact that it's only one point for these guys makes it even better. Uh, then we are going to Rose Tico, who as long as you have people in your arc at range two, she can re-roll stuff so she doesn't get heroic. Then who can add uh, an eye result uh, by taking a strain. Uh, also has Heroic, and that's the only upgrade on him. And then Bastion is literally the same as Pava. But once a damage card is dealt, he gets a target lock. So that is essentially quite a big list of not very... Oh, I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not very nice. So it's 29 hull in total to chew through. And then that's quite hard to get through to be fair on the other side for team ireland uh, we have cormac higgins this is his version of sort of republic beef um and again we'll go from the top right away down to the bottom uh obi-wan uh, he has got the entire crit bot setup marksmanship so if he is uh, in the bullseye he can turn a hit to a crit auto blasters and r747 uh, so he has got three charges, and every time that comes up, he can make it a crit, which is huge against some of these ships. He also has Wolf in the Ark. He also has Wolf Pack. So any friendly ship that takes a shot at him when they defend, he can get through Wolf Pack a target lock. Ashoka Tano has got Chopper, which has two charges. If, once you get them, Chopper then becomes erratic and you can start jamming things. That's very, very clever indeed. And Calibrated Laser Targeting, CLT, is where you can add, if you are in Bullseye, an eye result to your roll. And Goji has got an Ion Cannon Turret, Ion Bombs, of which they have two of, and delayed fuses. And if you put a delayed fuse on top of the ion bomb, it doesn't go off the round it's dropped, it goes off the next round. 
Cormex, this is 200 points. Matthias is 198, and we are looking quite good at the minute. So uh, welcome, chaps. It is quite early here in Ireland, so I uh, hope you are uh, doing well. Uh, morning, Gotham. Morning, Rislin. Morning, Chris. Morning, Firestorm Squadron Firecast. One of the best um, podcasts uh, going in uh, in Britain. So uh, if you haven't given them a, a check, uh, go to Firestorm Squadron, and uh, these guys know what they're talking about. So, um, uh, Madia is my favourite Spaniard, uh, says Rislin. Uh, well, why is he playing for Croatia? So, uh, jokes. All jokes. Uh, Rislin and Matia winning makes it 3-3. That's much more exciting. Yes, it is. As it, the score currently in this uh, group at the minute is 3-2 to Ireland. Um, I have enough excitement in, says Connor Holmes, also uh, in the squad of Team Ireland. And world champion Ollie Pocknell has just won. Hey, yo! So we've got the world champion in. Tell all your friends this is going to be a belter of a match. So we are into the second turn of movement. And looks like uh, Obi is, uh, has went quite fast down the top there. A little bank in, looking quite good. The resistance beef doing everything that they need to do, clearing their stress and all that sort of stuff. So looking kind of good. Uh, the arc kind of trundling along there, not really doing an awful lot as of now. So I wouldn't really expect to see any real engagement too soon, to be honest. So um, let's see how we get on. Ollie goes, hashtag king of a big deal. Well, he. he he might be. He might be. So what is the win condition for both these players? Well, very simple. As I said before, if you can get five gums onto a ship, you can literally put everything in your purse or wallet on that ship not being there by the end of engagement. What Cormac's list does is it's incredibly beefy too. So Goji with eight hull, uh, Wolf with nine in total, they can take quite a load of shots. So can they take that many shots? It's it's. I've practiced a lot this week personally with Cormac. Um, I flew much his list into it as I uh, think I know how to fly that one, kind of okay. Um, and it's always been uh, quite close, but um, Cormac knows this list backwards, knows exactly where he wants to uh, take the engage, as I'm sure uh, Mattia wants to do as well. They will both have ideas of their win conditions, but Mattia would really need to take off one of the Jedi. Um, really, really doesn't matter which one, whether it's Miss Tano or uh, Master Kenobi. We don't really get to see which what his thought process is. You're only going to get my ramblings, so we'll just have to see where and how they engage. And Cormac knows that he can take a tanking from two of his ships and the other two who are moving after uh, all of Maddie's ships as uh, Cormac has uh, Initiative 5 and Initiative 4 with Wolf. Uh, as first player, the only problem, and this is the reason why, uh, Matthew gave Cormac the initiative is that Ashoka Tano moves before Red Squadron, Jessica and Rose. So they're not really the most agile ships to uh, re like reposition. Uh, so Cormac will have to make sure that Ashoka, before he's ready to throw in that 53-point ship into the fray, will be safe. So um, let us see how this game is going on whole load of banks here from uh croatia like that quite a lot is deciding to come in to the uh, middle of the board uh, it's not going to take the long way around the bottom and uh, so uh that is bastion and finn um goji has uh, made a little bit of room there for himself uh, which is quite nice Little barrel roll away there from Ashoka. Everybody else in the list bounces. Uh, that's a bank one there from uh, Wolf. And um, 
a five straight uh, from uh, Obi Wan. No, will Obi Wan make a a move there, or is he content? Seeing as we're now in the cleanup phase, uh, I think we're all okay. So as I said, I wouldn't have expected any sort of um, weirdness here. Uh, what you're seeing on, on the cards is uh, completely allowed in uh, TTS and in the XTC. Um, if you're playing in real life and you have absolutely no idea what the difference between the ETA's dial and the Aether Sprites is, you can ask your opponent, ah, can I see your dial before you put your maneuver in? And you have a little look and you see what's red and how much they can bank or do they have a hard one and all that sort of stuff. Those cards, as you've just seen, you put them over the ship, you can get them the entire time. So then you will know, okay, so maybe this Y-Wing can go here and go here. Where can the arc go? Can the arc do a K-turn? Uh, hint, it can't. Um, let's but it's very handy for making thought processes and maneuvers for your own squad. So absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. So as they are on dials, let us have a quick little discussion about <laughs> what we're doing. Yeah, get good and learn them. But uh, yes, uh, dials are public information. So uh, you, if you said, no, you can't, uh, you would instantly go, but I'm allowed. And if he was being or she was being horrible, you would just call a judge and they would take the dial off that person and, and give it to you and then you get handed back. So completely fine. And uh, a sign of a good player who may not have come up against four different Republic lists all at the one time. So um, kudos to Amatia for doing that. Uh, Chris Baird um, has said... Um, uh, Dials are open information for everyone, so yeah, that's completely fine. And they are can do a 4K, but it's just the worst dial in the history of the world outside of Malaris' shuttle, which is atrocious. It's the worst dial, in my opinion, in the game. So, uh, Chris Bush says, why do you need to learn dials when you can just get better at rolling dice instead? Well, um, that, that's a very Nickel Squadron um, thing. If you want to get better... Uh, Roll better, uh, is what Greg would say. Um, yeah, I mean you can you can just roll roll better. Uh, Mr. Tom Reed, also from Team England's XTC squad. Welcome, sir. Haven't seen you in a long time. Uh, it is currently three two to Ireland. As chat immediately uh, on multiple occasions tells them what it is so uh very close indeed the, every single game of the five have been very close there hasn't been like a runaway winner or a massive thumping like 220 or anything like that it's just been very close games between two very evenly matched teams uh this round so we're back to uh movement so oh that's that's interesting Okay, uh, so Bastion flew straight, Flynn threw a straight one um, to make sure that he gets the focus. A hard one there by uh, Ashoka Tano. Will barrel roll to the left to at least make that range three, which is quite good. I, uh, I quite like those. Uh, spends the force takes the evade, takes the focus. So Ashoka is kind of uh, ridiculous at times with the amount of, you know, that's a barrel roll and a focus and an evade. So, you know, that's three sort of maneuvers. Big bank twos in um, from the X-Wings there, from uh, Jessica and Red. Uh, Rose also comes in. Uh, they all sort of focus up, which is kind of good. Here comes the arc uh, with a one forward and a focus. And um, I think and firmly believe that the first uh, dice rolling thing that is about to happen is about to happen right now. Tom, I hope so, man. I'm coming over to England soon in July. We'll uh, see what we can organize. I'll give you a DM, my good man. Hope your dad's well too. Uh, so 
uh, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting, definitely. So let us see where we are at right now. So Obi-Wan Kenobi will be firing first. Uh, let us see what the ranges are. Jess is at range two. Rose is at range one. Red Squadron Expert is at range one. And, and Cormac was about to forget to uh, roll into the dice. Okay. So uh, it looks like he is going after uh, Bastion. And uh, that with his uh, dice is uh, three. The massive three roll here. Four, four dice, four hits. There's the, the two crits, one from marksmanship, one from there. There is a reroll. Gets two. So two crits. Instantly, straight away. And uh, then uh, one crit goes through. That is stun pilot. Points on the board already. So straight away, that is pretty good. Uh, remember that that Cormac stuff is all uh, firing first. So he will get Obi-Wan shot. He will get Wolf's shot. Uh, here we go back into the box. There is a... Ooh, now will he spend the focus? Will he spend the focus? Two hits are ready and an eyeball uh, gets to re-roll. Re-rolls the eye back into an eye. And I think he'll probably just keep that too. No, he decides, let's go, let's go. Uh, so two shields on to Jess Pava. And now the, uh, the Republic can uh, see how good their defense is dice are as the resistance starts to fire he starts with rose that's a great start that is two hits into wolf uh, so one shield onto wolf oh wow uh three naughty hits in here great rolling from both players so far uh, three dice for Cormac. Two go through. So all shields now down from uh, Wolf indeed. So that is great for uh, Matya. Uh, this time, not so good. Uh, spins his target lock. Uh, he gets one hit on the first roll. Uh, Rerolls two. Gets a second hit. Uh, needs paint, so it takes one damage there. Everything going into the wolf. Um, so uh, down to five full. Uh, one hit, that is it. Should be evaded quite easily. It is evaded quite easily uh, with two. So that is the end of that shooting. But then we still have other shots as well. Goji um, has got obstructed shots from the uh, side arc with the ion. Now, can Goji hit possibly green um, to ion right in front of that rock, which will uh, really mess up the next turn? Or will he go for red? Or will he try and just do rows, but that's too far away. So the two in here uh, that we are looking at, uh, decisions to be made. Let's have a little think. So that target lock goes on to um, Bastion. Oh, wow, hit, hit, crit, and spends the focus. So no, nothing taken, no ions, no nothing. All good. So interesting first round of uh, engagement in there. That is uh, 
what these lists like to do. Uh, obviously, the the uh, the resistance list loves to choose violence. Um, it's like try and get as many shots onto a ship as possible. Um, and, and Wolf is a, a good choice. Uh, very very tacky indeed, um, but can take a lot of shots. So uh, nine already um, in total has taken uh, four. But at the minute, um, Cormac leads 16-0 for the half on Rose. So that's, uh, sorry, the half on Finn, I apologize. No, I was right. I've just put the overlay in. So there we go. Let us, let us get rid of that and put these guys all back up to normal and we'll do what it should be there. Thank you very much indeed. So it's at only 13 points in the lead. Uh, let us see how we get on in the next turn. So chat, where do we think um, Matia might end up? Uh, thank you, Rizalyn. It is now all changed. So, uh, in my opinion, I would agree with our world champion. Uh, Cormac should take that damage. It is uh, a fantastic position for almost all of the uh, Republic ships. Uh, the Resistance are quite happy here. They can all bank round one to the right, uh, Red Squadron and Pava and Rose. But if he does that with Rose, Rose will probably explode. Uh, Ashoka is in a fantastic position to uh, maybe do a one hard to the right as well, but has got to be very, very careful about uh, Bastion and Finn. Finn isn't in the best position, but can probably take a one bank to the left to be able to get the focus to take full advantage of his ability. So we shall see where we all end up. So, uh, again, Ollie being, he's actually stealing my lines before I get to actually say them. With Obi-Wan Kenobi having the crypt bot, so that is R7, A7, uh, you have three charges. You can spend one per turn, and you can literally make uh, an auto crit. It's just spend it, gone, dead, which uh, is not going to be good for Rose if that ends up being a thing but rose still has two hole left so maybe not let us see where we can go looks like matthias dials are set they are just checking their dials same for cormac on the right hand side so i think we are ready to rock which will start with goji so uh 52 minutes to go I do expect that um, all guns on the arc will be kind of good. I can probably imagine quite a a, a violent move here um, from Wolf. And I do expect one of the ships to go. Um, that is not correct player order. If Cormac is moving first goji is an i2 so that would not be okay uh, because uh cormac has got the initiative so uh, we'll have to keep an eye out on that Ollie, if you want, my sir, you can come in and join the commentary if you wish. So let's see where these ships end up. And uh, I will send Mr. Pocknell a little... Uh, A little message. So 
So you watch this amazing, amazing stuff. Look at that fantastic ability there from uh, Ashoka. There's a jam going on as well. <clears throat> so, um, here we go. We are going to have the world champion coming in here to uh, discuss this with me. That makes me delighted. So, what have we had? There is a fantastic uh, 4K um, from Chess. Uh, a lovely talent from um, the Red Squadron. Slightly tilting that he's green and not red, but... I digress. There is the three, and that is not the best position for Wolf to be in at all. I missed the um, asteroid there. Here comes Obi-Wan to be absolutely horrible. Takes an evade. So uh, let us go in. Uh, range one in bullseye. Let's see what happens. So, uh, Mr. Pocknell has uh, just joined. He has muted himself, so that is why we cannot hear him. And as soon as he comes in, I'm going to get Mr. Ollie Pocknell to actually uh, do the commentary. So if you would like, sir, to uh, come out of that, if you could just take over uh, for a little bit, and I will re redo the thing as my front door has just gone off. I can do it as soon as you uh, let me know the room and the password. I can certainly do that. I, uh, I'm commentating on the delay because I can see the stream, but uh, not the room. But hello, everyone, welcome, etc. Um, I am, well, I'm not covering for Simon, I'm just being annoying and pinging him on YouTube, so he got <laughs> eventually just gave up and let me in. If, if, if you know the meme, like, look, that is, that is me right now. It's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah. Oh, if I'm if I'm sounding like a robot, then uh, I can just ping in and out of the room. That's okay. And the room name, right? And wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. There we go. And we might be live. Give me a second. Carry the stream chat. The laptop's being slow. Alrighty. It's loading, it's loading, it's loading. Cool. So, let's get ourselves involved and excited. First of all, I have to give a shout out to the beautiful, beautiful mats. I don't think, uh, I don't think they give it, they get enough love, honestly. These, uh, these wonderful mats. That have been made by the island team for all of the members of the XTC. They're really pretty. They are really pretty. Right, let's uh, let's get ourselves into the 
let's get ourselves involved. Let's start. Have a look at this one. Let's get. Why not? Uh, right then. So, coming in mid shooting. It's fine. Totally paying attention. Uh, Wolf did do the three bank that I expected. Now the question is, how much firepower is he going to take for it? I mean, he's got not much health. Left. He only has two, and there is a very angry Finn on the horizon. Um, okay. Well, we get three hits, so that is a dead wolf. It doesn't matter what happens, he is down. Was it worth it? Mm, not sure. Not sure. I mean, uh, yellow has taken an awful lot of firepower this turn. I'm putting yellow on one. We've got, uh, well, both Finn and Rose looking very, very battered and damaged right now. Um, Stun pilot and fuel leak on each as soon as Obi gets a single shot into, uh, into Finn. Finn is gone. So, looking very, very tight on both sides. Obviously, losing Wolf is, uh, is bad for Cormac, but the rest of his squad is pretty undamaged. And Wolf Quite is right. the one ship that he can afford to lose. So, I'm back. Apologies. You know, Royal Mail are just idiots. And uh, was telling me at the door <laughs> that the, the, the thing that is on the sheet actually isn't in his van. That's why it took me so long wow. to come back. But I, I now have... A new ship, which is kind of nice. So that that I missed a round there. I definitely missed a round. Look at this, no wolf. There's I, damage everywhere. Should synopsis, synopsis you for it. Why not, sir? It looks like a lot of pew pewing went on. There was a lot of pew pewing. Wolf went three bank into a nice hole. Uh, then got summarily murdered by all of the resistance. However, before he went down, a massive hammer from both Ahsoka and Wolf into Bastion. Um, so Bastion is, uh, yeah, he's hanging on. He's got a single hull point. Rose has a single hull point. Finn has two remaining, but has a fuel leak. So with Obi being where he is, uh, good night, sweet prince. I think it, just a single point of damage into Finn will be enough to kill him. And uh, yeah, broadside is looking menacing. So as we were saying earlier, whilst uh, Cormac might be down in terms of ships, he's definitely not down in terms of ball position and... Those X-Wings, they're going to need to do some work. I think stuff is going to start getting initiative killed very soon. Well, with the two shields off Pava that I can see on screen, Green being completely untouched, even though he's the Red Squadron, uh, one hull left on Rose, two hull left on Finn, and Bastion down on one. That means that Cormac Higgins has scored 53 points. Obi-Wan completely untouched. Ashoka completely untouched. Goji, is she untouched? Uh, yeah, Goji has not been touched yet. So uh, that then leaves... So Cormac's, Cormac's entire squad, uh, apart from Wolf, obviously, Wolf got lit up, but yep. everyone was expecting Wolf to get lit up in this game. He is the uh, he is Captain Distraction. He is the bait because he cannot get away from all the guns. So his job is to do as much damage before he goes down. And honestly, I think he did well. Yep. Well, uh, Cormac has spent him wisely. Uh, Wolf, ironically, in this game, is 53 points. So it is a dead heat. From it being only a 13-point game, Machi has brought it back and it's now level with uh, about 42 minutes left on the clock. So thank you yes. for uh, jumping in. Let's That's see where right. we go now then, sir. Oh, well, now it's... Uh, I, this this game is, is now a bit of a coin flip because it feels like Cormac is in control. I like his board state. The, I like where his ships are. Yes. The board, the board state is absolutely fine. The problem that you have is have a look at where these uh, these T-70s are pointing. Specifically, uh, Jeff and the Red Squadron Expert. Because the Red yeah. Squadron Expert can choose to just do a one forward and bump here. Which means that, yes, Cormac is in a brilliant ball position. However, Obi might just be flying into all of the guns this round. So, there is a possibility that he could... Well, let's just see. Obi Right. That's well, a good move. I, I, I like that move from <laughs> Finn. He does not That's want to be anywhere. That's a, it's, yeah. Oh no! He's using a oh, oh no! Oh, oh dear! That's not good! Oh dearie me! Um, okay, so Ahsoka 
Ahsoka can still do an action because she can spend the force. She completed her maneuver, so she can still spend the force to do a barrel roll or something similar. Yes. Absolutely, and that is one of the reasons why she is not only one of my favorite characters in the whole of Star Wars, but that this ship, she she is so good. So here is a use of the Force to be able to do that. And the barrel roll, probably, to the right and back to keep a shot on, would be... It's not going to get out of arc, but can maybe take it away from a, a range one shot. So let's see where we go with the Shoga. So we cut the stress on a circle. What was the what was the jam that randomly appeared there? Um, is that not from Chopper, if, uh... or is Chopper a radic yet? Ah, ah, here we go. So Chopper has jammed Finn, so Finn no longer has his focus. Yep, and a strain, which means one less defense so this dice. Now gets interesting. And Finn also has a fuel leak. The strain is. Uh... Now is that going to be an arc? It certainly is. I would say. Oh, it's going to I be close. I don't think that's going to be an arc. Oh, oh, oh. no. Oh, dear. Well, this is turning out to be a belter of a game. So oh, there's we... all the strain and stress going on. Oh, just... Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Nice little uh, K there from Rose taking the stress. In comes uh, the Red Squadron. Um, will it target lock or focus? Of course, it's yeah. going to take the focus. That is, makes sense. Uh, I feel like Red Squadron is going to be ionized this turn. Obi Wan says hi. Hello, you. How are you doing? Uh, oh. Uh, so only one uh, force left on both Jedi's. So. If Obi. Go for it. But if if Obi if Obi is not in in arc, because I I don't think Obi can power. That rock is just in the. Yeah, the barrel roll to the right is, is a no go. The, yeah, he's. Uh, I think Obi just has to evade and pray that he is not in Green's arc. Well, uh, he, you know what I was saying about all the ships pointing at Obi Wan this turn. Oh yeah, and that has absolutely come to pass. So evade here is probably oh, yeah, the best he, thing he's to just do. The face barrel roll. Yeah. Oh, he's got to evade. He has to have it. And uh, I've played, I've played enough he's, times. He's going to kill Bastion before Bastion fires. And uh, you do not want a three die gun going into a one die evaded Goji, even with a focus. So spends the last force. Well, he has to. He, he has to kill Bastion here because yep. the crits will automatically kill Bastion. Yep. He's target locking. No. Uh, no, it's for his. It's. Uh, oh, oh! It's the nice. range one. He's using Obi Wan's ability. Yep. Spends the spends the force and gets the focus because there are two ships at range one versus one friendly ship at range one, and then he gets to take his normal action. Yep. Clever boy. There we go. Uh, I've played a lot this week against this because uh, we knew that this was going to be probably at best a fifty fifty for Cormac because. Rebel, uh, rebel resistance okay. beef is 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 hard to get through. There's a lot of hull, but he's nearly there. So, um, well, having been the one that uh, got steamrolled by uh, Mastia last week, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what it's like. It is Joe Steam uh, face almost. is not nice. So I assume this is going uh, it's, into Bastion. Surely, it all. I think it all comes down to he wants defense dice. Uh, yeah. I was talking to Mastia before this game actually, and. Uh, it, I think he had a similar conclusion that it really does come down to how good the Jedi's greens are in this game. Because you know that the Jousty is going to get good reds. That's what it does. It, exactly. Um, and so then with all the rerolls. not be in front of it, and how good are your greens? Could yeah, not agree sure. more. I love this list. Uh, as I said at the start of the show, um, I went 5 1 with in the Hexiled Elimination with this. It's a great list. It is so good. And with all the uh, it abilities, a- it's it's really, really good. So, uh, it's fantastic. Not one wondering so, what is going here, on. Here we are. Uh, I think Cor- might decide he didn't like those green dice. Uh, oh, is what is is oh, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Um, 
he's uh, yeah he, decided he's, to he's take the shot kill Finn. on the Finn and Finn. He not, wants to keep his. He does. He wants to uh, keep no, this that. This is super interesting. So that's. He wants to keep Ahsoka healthy. Yeah. Because his end game is Ahsoka and Obi Wan. He doesn't care if Goji dies. So uh, those Goji's are, job is to trade trade his life for Bastia. A hit in the eye and uh, one evade. Don't tell me that is. And Rose goes as well from downtown. My. Yeah. Well, that yeah. taking two ships yeah, off yeah, at, yeah. at any time and is good, but taking two ships off yeah. at the same time. It's gonna be is even better i think it's going to be three i think it's going to be three i honestly so goji needs to do two two things either he kills bastian this round or he causes uh, green to the arm oh, matches reds have it been on fire as long as goji gets to shoot uh so rose there two shots okay in um the uh focus had to be spent uh, here comes uh, Jess, three into one, uh, no target lock, focus not doing anything right now, uh, checking to see Ooh, how many bad. she gets, so she will get one. Oh, yeah, that was getting too real. Yep. So, two hits. Because, because of the... And one evade there from Goji, so only takes it on the shield. Oh. Wow. That why we now this one could hurt. Uh but not uh hitting the nine ball. Spence focus. No focus back. So uh, two more shields on to Goji. So shields gone there. Yeah. And now this is the important shot. Who does he shoot? Well, with does Bastion he... only on one. I, Surely, I feel like he just uh, he tries to kill Bastion. Yeah, it, it's I mean it, it's a it's a must have in my opinion. If he can take three ships off in one round of shooting, that's pretty good. But does not manage I feel like that, to I can't do make that. Up for Rose. Yeah, so uh, Rose unfortunately at uh, range three could not evade, and so that's going to be hit crit. Uh, so the crit definitely going through. Uh, two hits, mm -hmm. so half points on to Goji, and we've got a game on. There's absolutely yeah. no doubt about it. We've got a game on. Yeah. Oh man, this is, is this is now super super fun. This is okay. So this is super Goji, super fun. <laughs> has Goji got an iron bomb? Goji has one iron bomb. Uh, it was dropped at the top bomb. of the screen oh, earlier. That uh, surely it's got to be dropped now with only three hole left. Uh, but with uh, thirty-two minutes to go, the current score oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. is uh, Croatia seventy-two, Cormac Higgins eighty. So uh, Ireland leading by eight, but uh, nine in a game of X-wing. That's super easy to do with the points on these ships. Jump quickly in the chat to see how people are doing. Cormac's done a lot of damage spread around. Yes, has indeed. Um, barrel rolled off the rock. That's exactly what happened. And then before Finn could take any shots at Ashoka, disappeared. Um, Iron Cannon's going to get Bastion, says Chris. Tried, failed. But uh, right, where, where does Machi go here? Because it's only nine. He doesn't need to chase the game. He's, he's half an hour. I think uh, I think he has to kill Ahsoka. He has to kill, has to kill Ahsoka. Ahsoka. Obi, you you either get a lucky shot into Obi, which honestly doesn't depend on that depends on where Obi gets put. Yeah. Hmm? So I would expect um, this is uh, a, a long thought process here from uh, Matya, uh, who has played superbly well uh, in the. Uh, Every game he's played so far. No dial set on his side because he is genuinely going, where are they going to go? Well, I mean, like, <laughs> will, will Goji disengage <laughs> or will Goji go in and go, no, I want a shot and try and keep it on to uh, Bastion with the Ion Cannon. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that's 
what I feel like he's going to do. Yeah, I, I feel like the easiest one to guess is is Green. Because I, I think Green is just going to do the 4K. Green will do the um, 4K. The and I think is, where does Obi go? Uh, <laughs> if it was... If it was me... I, with only my, one my force, with Obi actually is a is a boost to the left. Yeah, I, I think System that sounds. Boost to the left. I think that sounds pretty good. Five forwards, and and get him completely out of the fight for a, a couple of rounds. Uh, completely untouched, mind you. Um, so that's that's yeah, handy. But, but I, with I only three with, hole, it doesn't take an awful lot to uh, go an through. To go. Yeah. And uh, I, the, the thing is, is with half an hour to go, um, I think Obi needs to stay alive to finish off things later. Yeah. Ahsoka is going to kill Yellow here. Ahsoka should kill Bastion, or Goji should kill Bastion. Uh, the problem that you have is that Goji might get initiative killed here, and that's a, that's a genuine problem. And that is a genuine problem. So, uh, in my opinion, uh, a nice two uh, to the left here from Ahsoka should be okay. That will release... Uh, the stress from her ship after that sort of half failed uh, talon. So, yes, Goji goes first. Yes, yes, correct. So, bomb first. Uh, last iron yes, bomb. bomb. Um, let's is see. Is it delayed or is it not? We shall have to see. I, I, I think Just... it'll probably go off this round uh, simply because. Yeah. There's yeah. not an awful lot to that. No oh. bump there from Goji, so oh, manages to get the focus. Oh, hello. And uh, let's see where we go. So with that bump <laughs> oh. into Goji, uh, well played. I actually enjoy that quite a lot. Um, probably means that... Uh, well, Goji can't... Well, Ahsoka, kill. Ahsoka kills Bastion in this round, right? Yep, and now has yep. um, Ahsoka kills Bastion. Takes so does her little range one thing here uh, to jam uh, Pava, uh, which then I gives really the focus. Yes. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But uh, if uh, Jess has done anything other than. Yep, that that was a cert. Uh, in my opinion, that was a cert. The uh, two two left hard. Oh dearie, dearie! And um, to get out of dodge, uh, Obi Wan uh, decides to do just a five strike. Now, is it worth? Well, it's a good thing that Ahsoka is a seven B because. Uh, oh wait, no. No, nope, she's she's, uh, she's a calibrated la laser nope. targeting. She has calibrated laser targeting, which uh, now will probably make a difference. So if nobody knows what CLT does, it adds an eye result if you've got Bullseye. And Ahsoka has Bullseye. Problem is... Hey, Simon. Shoot. How hard can you clench? How hard can I clench? I'm about to find out. Ion Bomb does a damage onto Green. Uh... Or no, well, it doesn't. That just gives green, you three items, well, it, doesn't it? it? Depends. Can, can green kill Goji? Because if green can't kill Goji, then maybe uh, Goji ions Jess. So uh, here we go. Uh, no shot from Obi-Wan. So this will be from uh, Ahsoka. Uh, an eye and a crit. Uh, ooh, okay, so one crit. I mean, that's unfortunate. Easily yeah. invaded. So no mod spent there on uh um... yeah. so this one critical for Croatia. Range one, four die, end of one, four hits, and uh Cormac will need either an eye or a blank I, to survive. Think, there uh... is one missed, two missed. Goji will be alive, there's no crit. So lives luckily. I think uh, should have shot Jess first. See what happens to Ahsoka, and then if Ahsoka was on low health, then you take the high variant shot yeah. into Ahsoka with uh, with green. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, range one here from Jess um, has only got one reroll, oh, no. but then spends the eye. That's three. We could be seeing oh, a dead Ahsoka. Okay. 
There's no force. Oh, gets one. Gets one. But that is okay. another 27 okay. points for the right. oh, And uh, no shots in here. All right, I'll time. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what he can do. Only the one. Ah, oh, that field was bad. Only the one. Uh, two die back. Feel bad. Right. What's the uh, what's the scores on the doors? The scores on the doors, my friend, are after that amazing little round. Matia has uh, increased his points tally to ninety nine and now leads by nineteen points over Cormac's dice. Not really doing what he needed them to do and stays on eighty. So twenty points required. Obviously, killing Bastian will. Uh, do that quite easily but then he will only be up by four so a super tight game indeed with uh, 25 minutes exactly left to go yeah i am um, i can see goji doing a uh, two hard to the right here uh, because he needs to stop the 4k from bastion absolutely absolutely and also it means he gets an iron cannon into the back of uh, back of green if he just rotates Yep, absolutely. Uh, so that is almost perfect. My concern here for Ireland is where does a Soka go? One hole left. Um, it's not oh, really... A Soka goes five forwards. Yeah. Uh, two, two hole left, right? The uh, has one and three. Yeah. So the, that damage in there, uh, not very good at all. Uh, taking those two, um, well, not of rock. Yeah, I, th I think Ahsoka, Ahsoka has a safe five forwards though. Well, a five forwards. She can, she can just disengage. Yeah, she can just disengage. She can quite easily do that. Uh, the two turn to the right from Goji, uh, which is probably what he's looking at doing right here. Obviously, um, Red Squadron pilot is ironed. Um, and we'll only be going one forward, so that will mean Goji, who is also only on one hull, um, can't do an awful lot. Uh, Obi Wan, Oi. There is. Uh, I think I think Obi does uh, turns in on Jess. Now here's the question: because if we're playing Super Friends, um, the five forward from Ahsoka should land her in range two of Obi, so Ahsoka can spend a force. To boost Obi. Yep. Um, at which point you can save Obi's force and then boost Ahsoka normally anyway to get out of range for all the other shots. I think we're okay. I think Cormac, okay, if, if he does that, that will be uh, incredibly well thought out. Um, the fact that uh, the crit bot has um, literally fired his last spark. So uh, R7 just out of the game right now. Um, Match has got all his dials done for his remaining three ships, as has Cormac, who then decides, no, I'm going to do something else with Goji. Now we're all set, and I... No, we're not. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. I, I love it. Uh, yeah, so um, it should definitely be two hull left in Ahsoka. Ahsoka only took one damage card. So he went. He went for the straight two. And and is it rotate, take? rotate that arc. Yep. So like a one bank here from uh, Bastion would be ridiculous. So uh, that's the way it needs to be. That's it. That could possibly do it if uh, Bastion has decided to four K. And to be fair, why would you not? And he has. There we go. So there's the stress from that maneuver. So we're just going to trade one for one here. Looks like it. It does look like it. Uh, problem being for uh, Ireland is that Goji uh, costs more than Bat. Well, no, Goji's thirty-eight total. Bastian forty-seven. So. Uh -huh. oh. 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 oh, 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 that's nice. That, I like that. is fantastic. Both blocks and goes for the initiative kill. Love it. Absolutely loves it. Uh, manages to uh, then jam uh, the Ion uh, Red Squadron. So even doing the blue, 
one forward, which can give you a focus. He ain't going to get anything. So uh, nothing can be done there. There is the bump from the red. Uh, takes off all those tokens, but um, we'll probably not have a shot, depending on where Obi is with that little uh, asteroid to his right-hand side. But um, let us see where we go. Oh, nice. Would you just focus up here? Because I assume this is going to be an obstructed range too. Let us see where we're going to be at the end of all of this. So uh, spends uh, one of his there to do the barrel roll to stop that getting done. Um, I like that. I like that a lot. So it will be a three into two. Okay. And two hits. There was some, it is. Uh... The marksmanship goes off. So it's hit crits. Uh, she's got a focus. It's the last shield on uh, Jess. So All slowly right, but surely this chipping away. This, this is it. This is what is going to be. Oh, it's only one. Right. Why? Okay. Wouldn't it matter? Yeah. Yeah. Is this where the uh, it flips on its head and Bastion just murders Ahsoka? Ahsoka. Maybe. So uh, here we go. Uh, three into four. Two force on. Uh, Obi Wan, and then hello, natty boy. Three natural hits. Oh lordy, that's half Obi, and that's half of Obi. Uh, for one shield on um uh, on Jess, and that has changed the game considerably. Uh, that really has changed the game considerably. That feels bad. Eighteen minutes left. Yep. Uh, so Bastion has to has to die here um, to give Ireland any sort of a chance at all. Um, See, this is why you don't roll Obi into Range Street because that happens. That can happen. Um, two. Can we get paint? Only the one. So Bastion is dead as well. Okay. Yeah. Before he dies, he gets to shoot back. He gets to return fire, four die here. Then that's enough to take and off Goji. Goji's dead and too. And Goji is dead too. So fantastic there for uh, Team Croatia. Um, so two bleeding Jedi versus two fairly healthy X-Wings. Yeah. Uh, curious, what is uh, the points if you half Jess? Who's winning? So if you half Jess, it's an extra 26 points. So unfortunately for Ireland, they need 44 to lead. So, uh, All right. so you need two halves or one dead X-Men. Exactly. So uh, the um, Red Squadron pilot uh, is 44. Jess is 51. Okay. So half, obviously, 22 and 26. So 26 and 22 would be enough. But with the fact that Obi Wan Kenobi and Ashoka are only on one hull each, uh, Cormac is going to need to initiative kill them all. It's winnable, but it's uh, yeah, the, the damage on, us, on uh, Obi didn't help there. I think Matteo is a real chance of putting this back. Watch the chat go crazy as uh, <laughs> as the OB bit comes through. Yeah, absolutely. So one hull left, two total for Cormac. But these ships, as you well know, Ollie, as you are flying uh, the Galactic Republic yeah. for Team uh, England, uh, they are slippery things. I mean, they are very hard to get guns on. And the fact... The only, I mean, the best thing for uh, Matya and Croatia is that Ashoka will move before Jeskpava and the Red Squadron expert. 
So both good and bad because Ahsoka is one of the best blockers in the game, and she can jam everything all the time. So where do you suggest that uh, Cormac, to give himself a chance, needs to put a soak? Would you um, would you have put it there? The the issue the issue that I have is uh, okay. So he's target locked and then he focuses. Yeah. Target lock focus. Yeah. Okay. He's choosing violence. Now the important thing is Ahsoka fires at the same time. If Ahsoka, uh, if basically if he can kill Jess. With, uh, and trade Jess for Ahsoka, then Obi has a chance of 1v1-ing um, green down to half health. I agree. I so... think that might be what Cormac is thinking. Um, because Jess, Jess has a couple of options here. She can go for a risky 4k, which should put her in the, uh, in the bullseye. Alternatively, a hard 3, you have to boost. Oh, hard 3, it is, is the boost. Which is an action... What's better, take the focus or the boost? See, it's it's risky because is that in arc? That that is very very close. Very that <laughs> is extremely that extremely, extremely close. I'm gonna take a mad stab and say, well, if you boost, no, just, uh, yeah, uh, everybody's boost. in arc. Okay, so Obi, uh, Obi gets that. Yep. So no shots from Obi here. Definitely does not have an arc. Uh, because Ireland uh, have the initiative, it will be a three die into two. So, so can needs, that's a that's, hit that's a crit. Uh, the reroll. Oh, yeah, stay blank. Yeah, fair enough. And that is a hit crit going in to Pava. Let us see what the crit is. And the crit is disable power regulator. <laughs> is that worth it? Let's see. Uh, for die, oh dear God. Well, that's going to require absolute natties. Can't, no mods needs the natties, only gets two, and she is gone. Uh that so hurts a lot. You, you, I've told you this three times. <laughs> Ahsoka had two left. Or oh, maybe my mic keeps on coming out when... Yeah, it, 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 it. Oh, so she's down to one. Right, apologies, apologies. I mean, let me sort out. Oh, dear God. Let me sort that out. See, this is what happens when front doors go and you lose the plot altogether. So Ahsoka is still there. Let us put her back up. There we go. So Ahsoka down to her final hole. Uh, yep. Score at the minute but right now. He's, uh, importantly, Jess is halved. Halved. So you would need to either kill and her off because that would be enough. And Killing Jess wins. Disable power regulator. Not the nicest crit. No. Nope. So uh, if Obi, all Obi needs to do this turn is a hard one and an evade. Absolutely. Ahsoka blocks green. And then suddenly you're winning the game. 12 minutes left to go in this Group C Game 6 between uh, Croatia and Ireland and uh, Hold on to your hold on to your hats. This is going to get really exciting. I assume. Uh, where would you put the red squadron pilot? Would you would you try and get behind Obi, or would you do like a hard to the right to try and get a, even a, even a shot through that um, asteroid? I would I would talent roll with the red squadron this turn because I think if uh, Ahsoka's going for the block, then if you can wipe Ahsoka off the board. Then it's a lot easier for you. Certainly is the uh, red. So I'd either do a K turn. Yep. Tell them. So uh, chat. Keeping up here. Uh, Twelve minutes to go. Uh, welcome, Jonathan. Um, hope you're good. He has total faith in Cormac, even though there aren't that many turns. Uh, 
Nah, this is Cormac's comfort zone. Let's just hope he's hungover. <laughs> we're, he's Irish. We're all hungover. I'm hungover now. So it's all good. So dials appear to uh, not be set at all. Two ships left each. Let us see. Well, uh, they don't need to set a dial for Jess. So, no. so it's literally just that uh, that aisle. So, but two hole left on on Jess. You would expect possibly Jess to no longer be I'll with tell you us. What, whichever, whichever way this goes, this has been again a really exciting game for the STC. I, I have not seen a... Uh, no, I'm telling lies. I've seen one very poor game where I just didn't understand any of the manoeuvres at all. It was like people had never played it. But outside of that, every single game has been fantastic. Uh, so it's a delight to bring games of this quality with players of this standard into people's bedrooms and living rooms. So um, I hope you are all enjoying it in the chat. And uh, let's be fair, it's very nice to have the World Champions' opinions on this kind of crucial game. Because if Ireland uh, win... They win this game. They will go a uh, four-two up. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So there is. Hey, there is. There is the barrel. Barrel. Ashoka does exactly. All the more reason for uh, doing that town roll with yep. Greeny. So we get the jam. Yep. Just I, I would like to see the credit. jam here. I mean, Ashoka can do two repositions. Yes, absolutely. So we're now into the guessing game. Does he does he do a forwards boost in the power roll and attempt to block any three hard? But if he misses, he'll miss two hard if he does that. Um, essentially, a forwards boost in the power roll is correct in about 70% of situations. Yeah. However, if Atia has called the bluff and either done a one bank to the right or a hard two, then Ahsoka gets lit up and dies. Well, now you played him um, in, in a previous uh, round. Does he fall for the bluffs? Did he fall for any bluffs that you uh, put on him in your game? From from what I've seen, from what I've seen, Mattia tends to do the correct move. So, with that in mind, I would expect him to do a talent roll or a four K. Yeah. So that would then leave the question of. He has, however, flipped his foils. Oh. Oh God. Okay. He's going for he's going for, he's going for time. He is going for is time, going. correct. And with the time being Which, about eight minutes exactly in about five seconds, he's uh, just yeah. barrel rolled out of that. That's very impressive, and that is why uh, Cormac was given. Okay, so you now you now target block. You now target lock so you, completely, and, and you go fishing. You go, you go fishing for crits. Yep. So, marksmanship is well, now you need live. One, one crit out of hand. Yeah, you need one crit out of hand. And so, then marksmanship for everything else. So this is oh, this no. is going this is going to decide the entire game. Four dice. I don't understand that. Okay. Why would you fly green away? I don't get that at all. What I do get is that there's nothing much you can do to save Jess Pava. Jets is now yeah. dead. And that has changed the game completely. As Red, okay. who admittedly, has not even had a shot fired at him, I believe. So all three shields and hull. But Cormac, by killing off Jess, is now leading by eight with seven minutes to go. What a game we're having. Mm. And the problem is, is that <laughs> he's in a situation where whilst he should run away, Ahsoka is in a lot of danger because she can't really avoid getting shot next turn. So uh, give uh, the, the, the chat the, your full benefit of everything, which is why I invited you here. Describe, right, so let's... for me, Obi-Wan just runs away. 
So with, with six minutes to go, you have a few things to consider. You're only eight points ahead, which means if you lose a soaker, you've lost the game because you don't have enough time to half that T70. You've got a couple of options. You either go fully offensive and just dive Ovi and Ahsoka in, because if you halve the T70, it doesn't matter which one you have left alive, you're still winning. Yep. And that's important uh, because both Ahsoka and Ovi are expensive enough. Um, however, <laughs> it's, a, it's a very big however, uh, it's quite difficult to take four health off a T70 in five minutes. Realistically, you've probably only got two or three turns of shooting. Um, so probably the safest option is to run away with Ovi and Ahsoka. Um, the issue there is that if you run away with Obi-Wan and Ahsoka, uh, it is very, 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 very difficult to uh, get out of arc this turn. The next turns, that's fine. Yeah. But this turn is the one turn that Mate uh, Matea has a chance with that D70, either by talent rolling or K turning, probably the talent roll to, uh, to the right. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh, Matea, no! Oh no! I, I am. Oh, oh dear God! That's that game. That's game. Sure. Oh, I can't believe it. I okay. literally can't believe it. Ahsoka now turns in towards green. Uh, green cannot K-turn again, so Ahsoka just makes sure that she doesn't get blocked by the half one. And Matia cannot... I, I don't think he has enough time. So what are we going to get? The speed, they're, like, they're playing fast, so you're probably going to get are playing, out of The pace of this game has been much quicker than most XTC games. Uh, Gary has already yeah. decided where he's going already, but oh, I mean, I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, what what what, what like a game this is! Cormac, Absolutely Cormac Cormac brilliant. Cormac just goes too hard into the corner with the soaker because you can just make sure you block the the, the one forwards from green, and then you're you're fine. You're never dying ever. Not not ever. Not ever. There we go. There's a there's a two. So the the perfect curve boost, curve boost left. Oh, he's going the other way. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it, yeah. You just you just boost barrel roll. You don't you don't get shot, and everything's fine. No, everything is fine. Perfect flying there, there from Mr. Higgins, taking full advantage. Yeah, it's like, and there's another clip. He on stays the on the rock. Surely not another hit. That. Balances out the first one, so no yeah. shots you see, at all. What I would have, what I would have done there is I would have uh, boosted the left and barrel rolled in the other way because it gives the soaker more escape options. Um, but I mean, it's still, yeah. It, will he barrel roll? Position. Will he barrel roll to the left or to the right here? Like, surely, if he's going to keep him away, surely honestly, if he keeps him away. I think you probably barrel roll to the right because you can then choose to okay no he's staying where he is that's fine yep. essentially staying where he is allows him to do system phase stuff either way next turn if you change your mind absolutely so straight away okay. uh, straight away Martin knows exactly where he's going he's already got a dial in and to be yeah. fair um uh, Cormac already knows what he's doing with Obi-Wan uh, before Cormac sets his dial where does the sugar go here so the problem is, is, before you work out Ahsoka, you have to work out Green. Green has two options. Green can either decide to K-turn after Ahsoka. Absolutely. Or Green can go for Obi. I think going for Obi is probably a bad idea. Um, so Surely too far Ahsoka. away with just just over two minutes to go. Yes. So do you K-turn Green or do you try and call the bluff and do it too hard to the left? Probably the K-turn. I would say the K turn. I think that will be much I, better I, by the altogether. Of, yeah, but by the speed of Matthias dial, it's either a three bank to the right or a K turn. Yeah. So two minutes exactly, one hundred and twenty seconds to decide who wins the sixth game in uh, Group C between these two yep. fantastically fought out countries. There is a two bank from a sugar, a blue manoeuvre, will jam. Jam, boost evade. Boost evade. And maybe try and get behind that rock. Remember, only one hull left on a sugar. Gary will take his time to make sure he gives himself the best chance <laughs> for his green dice if there is a, 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 a yeah, K-turn the at all. There is the barrel roll. Aaron, there is the boost. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Well, if okay. he has done oh. anything else, let us see what has happened. He has went. Oh uh, yeah. Wander the left. Try to try to call the bluff. And that is pretty You're much. You're gonna get one more turn here, so. You're gonna get one more turn. Take a target lock. Take a target lock. Yeah, nothing Come on. done. You, you yet. haven't quite lost yet. Oh, oh he's, okay. he's trying okay. to he do something. So there is a three. Uh, three bank to the uh, right. No, you can't Surely there's a boost. There's yep. no chance three of boost. catching this. That's, I mean, that's. It's an exercise yep. in uh, futility. Five forward boost. <laughs> Yeah, five forward, boost away to the right. Nothing's happening here. Ashoka only needs to do like a bank anything to the left. 30 seconds left to go in this game. What a finish. Oh, man. That's a uh, that dressful. <laughs> all the games that... Have you watched... Have you watched some of the USA know, games? Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. It's been say, brilliant. It's been brilliant. I have to say as well, Shout out to Mattia. Uh, Cormac really got the better of him in the engagement, and Mattia has pulled it back super, super well. So, um, he's done a really good job of this. Yeah. And uh, yeah. A super Credit tight game. For Boost forward one. Playing a really high quality game. The timer has clicked. Sadly, Mattia does not get rounds oh. on Obi Wan Kenobi. And the final score after one of the closest and Best flown, in my opinion, games that I've seen Team Ireland play so far. The final score is Matija Mandurov of uh, Croatia scores 146 points. Unfortunately for Croatia, Cormac Higgins from Ireland destroyed 154 and wins the game by just eight points. Holy hell. That is one hell of a game. Thank you both players. Brilliant. Cormac, well played. Uh, Matcha, my complete commiserations. Um, brilliantly done. On the bigger scale of things, that now means Team Ireland have won this set, at least, because they now lead it four games to two. Tomorrow evening's game uh, between... <laughs> you, you don't have an interest in, in, in these two people. It's not like we're in the same group or anything. So, uh, yeah, Gary Colden's... Like as uh, Zamgo tomorrow up against you like this. Fader, Sunter Fell, and Fifth Brother. That'll be interesting. That's that's gonna be another hell of a game. That's gonna be um, a, an another hell of a game. Which is just fantastic. So well played, Cormac. Yeah. Uh Matthew, that was such a good go. Uh the lead went both ways several times through the game. Uh Delighted to have been able to stream this and even more delighted to have Ollie in the commentary box with me. Thank you for jumping hey. in, sir. Always a pleasure. Hey, no worries. What I'm seeing is I'm seeing that this is just running up for the 3-3 three, three off in the final week. It's uh, I, w I wonder who Ireland play in the final week. That's mm. us. That's <laughs> us. So... Everyone, everyone wins all their games, and then we get a showdown to see who's king of the group and who gets to drink hot sauce. Uh, yeah. I don't think you're drinking hot sauce. I think you're drinking two shots of hot sauce. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> shots okay. fired. Shots fired. Spicy, Listen. spicy meatball. Uh, yeah. Uh, guys, thank you so much for... Uh, guys in the chat um i know it's kind of early but it's not that early so thank you for all your comments thank you for helping me with the overlay as i was running around trying to get laptops working ollie thank you very much for coming in here ireland win they are now three wins out of three guys please before i go if you're watching anything on youtube please hit the subscribe button for all the streamers that you watch regardless of where they are in the world it helps them out a lot and if you're watching on twitch please hit the follow button Again, for the same reason, it makes the XTC bigger. More people who maybe not have even heard of this amazing game get it on their feeds. My name is Seth Holocron. I've been commentating with world champion Ollie Pocknell. That's it. Ireland 3-0.